Hello and welcome everybody. You know who it is. It's your boy, King Demps. Um, and we're doing a demo review. It's the final of the PGL Antwerp Major. Uh, do I need to explain much more? First map, Inferno. Bang. Let's get into it. We're not going to look at this from anybody's point of view in particular, but we're probably not going to look at ROPs that much. Um, we'll, we'll stick on rain for now. Um, we're going to look at this from the phase point of view, obviously, because they're the winners. So, um, yeah, let's just get into it. Fairly standard chiller default for now. ROPs, obviously, under the window. Um, Brokey taking point, doing the jump. So they've silent jumped up into apps. Brokey is quite often the apps lurk for phase. Um... A lot of people do a lot of different jobs for phase though on this inferno. Rops is also usually the apps lurk for phase, but Brokey often works apps uh, with Rops, I should say. So it looks like, yeah, we're just going to get a pretty quick mid pop here um, out on today's site. Yeah, Twist finds a frag obviously over on Arch. Um, it's Bit now who's going to try and get stuff done. Um, they should be able to handle the mid backstab here. Yeah, this should be a phase round. So pretty quick mid pop and just a clean entry on the arch guy. Um, it's super hard. Yeah, there you go. For the guy left on the side to get anything done. Oh, damn. That's a nice shot from Perfecto, though. Two nice shots from Perfecto, though. Uh, Rob's standing pit. This is a hard post plant to break. Twist is probably not going to take contact. Yeah, Rain's going to get a free kill. Yeah, this is so hard now for uh, Na'Vi. So yeah, pretty nice standard default from FaZe um, into a mid pop. Found a really quick frag on one of the arch players. Um, was it a double arch setup from Na'Vi? I think it was. Um, and this is something to look for during this game. Um, obviously, I watched it live, but, you know, demo review gets me to look at it a little bit closer. Um, something to look for is FaZe seemed to kind of focus Arch from Na'Vi. It seemed to be a point on the map that FaZe attacked quite a lot, and particularly Carrigan. So we'll probably end up looking at a lot of this from Carrigan's point of view and seeing um, how he sort of sought to abuse that Arch hold. Again, pretty standard default, nothing too fancy. I think, yeah, we got some spam to try and limit the apps push while Rops gets into apps. So this is a default. It just makes the pushing of apps harder, and particularly if Rops is entering apps from this kind of doorway. Um, it just makes it very difficult for Navi to push. Um, so again, leaving Banana Chiller at the moment, kind of encroaching on mid. It looks like we're going to get another uh, mid play of some description. Na'Vi are cheating one back over to B. So Na'Vi have made the wrong read here, but with absolutely zero information. They don't even really have sound cues because they're quite far back on the map. Um, Carrigan's going to throw a little schmuck. I think that lands library doorway. Yeah, it does. So that's the library doorway smoke. And yeah, look, as you can see again here, though, Carrigan wants to have a look at this arch side. So yeah, again, it's just... Something in the game plan, maybe with the way Na'Vi set up, Carrigan seems to have a feeling that Arch was kind of the thing to go for. So now this is really hard. As you can see, Phaser already so far up that this is like... Oh, not a bad crossfire, to be fair. Um, Simple finds a couple on the site. Carrigan gets a rotator. Twist kills Simple, and yeah, that's the round. Um, <laughs> I forgot about that. Carrigan's so on it. He's like... Rah! See, fucking kill, fucking... Uh, yeah. Whatever. I stand by it. Um, so, yeah, Navi obviously off for the save here. We will skrrr through this round. Um, so, yeah, so difficult for Navi there. Phase are so far up in their faces with only two on the side. If that's a three man crossfire on A, then that's more doable. But Phase just got so far up before Navi even got to take any contact. Um, yeah, you're just, it's going to be impossible to hold the site. And this is kind of what Na'Vi are hoping for, is that they go two for two, for some rebuys, save a couple of guns for this round, because this is also going to be another bad buy, obviously. So, um, yeah, FaZe Clan, obviously, with the early advantage. Uh, again, just hitting that A site, abusing that arch hold. 3B lean at the start for Na'Vi, unsurprising. A little bit more interesting getting uh, Banana Control, it potentially looks like. Um, so this one might actually end B. FaZe are making more than a token effort to hold Banana. Um, Na'Vi with no real utility or weaponry or anything. Just giving up. 
Top banana completely. Yeah, they're taking this brackets control like relentlessly phase. At least pushing Navi back. But that's generally how you want to play Inferno. There's those advanced... If Inferno's a very like... If, if you want to learn how to play CS at a basic level, this map is amazing for it because it's the advanced map control of like apps, brackets, banana. The T's in general want to try and take at least a couple of them, push the CT's back and then go from there. But we're going to just go straight into the site here. Oh no, the smoke is going to have them chilling out. FaZe may very well end up walking into a stack here. Um, not a complete stack, but definitely where the three people are focused. It looks like they're just going to go anyway. Um, twist to be the tip of the spear. And that is the round, yeah. <laughs> I like Twist. Uh, very nice there for him to just not bother turning around. He knows he's getting spammed through the smoke and he trusts his teammates to kind of do stuff. Whoa, did Boomage go for a knife? I think we had a little slice. Uh, yeah, Navi will just save what they have left. So... Again, nothing really to write home about there. Um, it was uh, an eco round from Navi, so... Um, but yeah, just phase, uh, do the simple, push the CTs back, and then I think before the CTs, like, decide to go 4-1, that's why phase kind of execute, not like early, but like, they don't faff around too much, and they don't leave it to like 20-30 seconds, they go a little bit quicker, um, also no reason not to, they had the control and stuff, they knew where they were ending. 3-0 FaZe Clan. This is obviously a bit of a Brucey bonus round for FaZe because they haven't upgraded everything. Um, if they win this, it's it's really, really rough for Na'Vi. Um, just the economic advantage you start to build if your FaZe is, is humongous. Na'Vi have to take another bad buy. FaZe have got all the money in the world to take like two or three complete losses. Um, pushing Boomich back. I seem to remember this being... Um, not too dissimilar from the FaZe Clan plan on Inferno against Na'Vi. When was it? ESL Pro League, I think. I think I did a demo review of that as well. And this is... Um... No, I actually did a video on how FaZe Clan beat Na'Vi there. And this is not too dissimilar. Like, making sure Boomich can't do his aggressive shit in Banana was, like, a priority. Lots of, like, fast, aggressive mid-takes, which they've kind of done similar things here. Um... Uh, Na'Vi are not fighting for any of the map control really they're going for a very very passive approach and i wonder if it's because phase clan punished them so much in the previous game they're going for like instead of dying like on those mid pops that phase were doing and dying trying to fight top banana they're just falling back into slice and playing super passive so it's just a, i think just a different approach from what they went for last time um navi do have all three here though so this is this is doable for sure and very no utility for phase so yeah this is a hard hit for phase here they need to be quite clean on the entries and they aren't yeah this is a really difficult round so they shouldn't um win this one i don't think oh they're going to wow okay so they just get the frags um oh no i didn't realize that brokey was still alive still doable for phase for sure oh brokey needs this kill Okay, Brokey gets one. It's on Rops now to get some stuff done. He does. Yep, yeah, okay, they make it work. Wow. Okay, there was a bit of a back and forth round there. Um, Na'Vi were probably slightly favoured just because they had the... Um... Yeah, Simple can't do shit with one HP here. Yeah, chill. Na'Vi probably slightly favoured in that round because they got three um, to the party. Um, but and a lack of utility on phase, but phase just trade very, very well, and I think that is um, really important on the T side at the moment. Um, I mean, it's important on T side in general, anyway. Obviously, important in the game, anyway. Obviously, to be able to trade well, but I think particularly with the current meta, I think trading efficiently and effectively on your T side because you know those A1Ss are often gonna, you know, get the drop on you you need to be able to communicate effectively and trade them. Um, that silence them for is a pain in the ass. So again, just lots of utility at the top of Banana to try and not let Boomich do his bullshit. Um, they're going to have to sack the control for a bit here and let this smoke time out. Um, they can't... It's not the best idea to try and fight through this smoke a lot of the time, particularly when Navi are on a bad buy and they don't have a lot of utility. You might as well just drain it out. You know, maybe... Uh, at a different point in the game, you're like, yeah, we'll pop through this smoke just to switch things up, but 
they should know and i think the way they're playing you can see they know navi are going to be set up aggressively here they're going to go for the boost i think no they're just going to pop through they know exactly carrigan or whoever has read this you know to to t yeah stopping the fallback yeah that's so smart man perfecto has to just run perfecto has to just run that deep molly means that like they're both going to get stuck there that was perfect from phase clan like just to understand what they did right they obviously gather up here at the half wall they pop a molly down like like here where this smoke is i'll draw the line bigger so you can see it they pop a molly down here so basically it's four of them fighting two of navi and navi can't fall back so you know it just shows you that they read the setup perfectly and they uh they countered it uh, they did exactly what they needed to do to counter it they get a kill taking a hell of a lot of damage but if they just group up navi are making the right call here on the rotate oh my god simple is killing everyone mid okay sorry i missed some frags there um simple murdered everyone in mid i didn't realize they'd gone so far at mid brokey kills somebody on the short side oh my god i'm just not uh I'm not catching a lot of these frags. Joe, you know what? We're gonna go back to the uh to the auto fucking Yeah, there you go. Cast a camera control. We'll go back and uh and do this. Cause I'm missing bare frags. I'm not an observer, alright? But yeah, a lot of that comes off of um the B hit the B port not the B hit, but the B like the banana take from phase. Really nice to counter the setup that Navi had gone for. Good read of the setup, obviously, to get it right. Uh, and then they just punish it. And then at that point, when you've got a 5v4, especially on Inferno, um, like grouping up, trading well, is probably going to be enough to uh, to get you over the line. Simple and perfecto, the only people fragging for Navi. This was definitely a problem early on in Inferno. It felt like Navi just weren't fragging as much as they normally do. Um, you know, part of what makes Navi so dangerous is their fragging potential is nuts you know they've got three who can frag at an absolute star level consistently and then boomage and perfecto can have their games and have very high impact rounds you know they're not going to ever have the same superstar numbers but so banana control being fought a little bit more aggressively by navi yeah they have to note boomage wants to do sandbags bullshit Perfecto is pretty far back and can't really support him very well here. And then they've got the apps control. As I said, Rops and Brokey, they're the two working it, right? No, it's actually Rops and um, Rain, sorry, who are working it at the moment. But yeah, Rops will uh, will be the apps lurk most of the time. Or a lot of the time, if they have an apps lurk, it will be Rops. They've chilled out on the apps control, though. It doesn't seem like... Uh, it seems like Rain is going to tr try and catch rotations mid, if anything. Um, still don't know where this is ending up for FaZe. This is the probably round where FaZe have managed to get the least map control and are working with the worst tools at their disposal. They haven't really got any map control at all. They got apps, but they've obviously fallen back off of it. Um, so they're really fighting blind. Simple's actually fighting up on Cubby here, which again, first time Na'Vi have really tried to fight that aggressively one for one it's okay but it's actually gonna be the b hit this is a bit of a fake rain is gonna try and wrap through maybe investigate a little bit more towards a but wrap through library yeah brokey rex boomich on that little gap abusal yeah and perfecto needs to go huge and he doesn't yep so that's I, I, honestly a good job on phase they found the gap or they found the bit of the defense they could kind of punch through which was arch they had no real map control there. They didn't have the best toolbox to work with compared to other rounds where they got a lot more map control like they had Top Banana and stuff uh, earlier in the round. But at the end of the day, they make the right adjustment. They they force Rain through the correct kind of gap. Carrigan will do that. Carrigan will, will like go and, and kind of fucking sack his life off so that um, his team can get shit done. Bogdan's Law, obviously in effect. Rops on the low HP was given the AWP. Kablooey. You try to hide mine. Right. So yeah, obviously phase in the driver's seat. This is rough. Uh, yet yeah, no surprise that a timeout comes. Blade obviously trying to remedy the situation before it gets out of hand. Um... 
Unfortunately, at 6-0, it probably already has kind of gotten out of hand. And Na'Vi, again, are just going to have to suck up a little bit on the buy. Like, they have to have an MP9. They have a couple less grenades on simple. So they're just short of, like, a super, super healthy buy. And in, in the top games like this against the very, very best teams, that you don't, you don't want those margins to be going against you. They're fighting Banana a lot more aggressively here again. Navi kind of gone back to more what is their standard, which is Banana will fight more aggressively, whereas A will chill out. They might do a bracket setup, but they generally don't fight A that aggressively, Navi. Oh, Simple's got to be careful here. If he tries to peek this, he will die. So yeah, here, this is actually the most aggressively Navi have fought for brackets, really. Now, Bit not peeking surprises me that he's going for a passive. I would have thought he would try... But maybe they read the setup with the AWP. I would have thought Bit would have tried to swung off of... Simple just running out and see up there. Yeah, that's not... That is Simple trying to do too much. And I think uh, that happened a, f a few times in this game. Simple trying to do too much. Um, against a lot of teams, Simple gets away with that kind of shit. But FaZe are... Yeah, FaZe are very, very good. FaZe and Ents are just the, probably the two teams that you don't want to be doing that against right now if you're Simple and if you're Na'Vi. <laughs> There's not much to say. FaZe are playing a really good T-side, but Na'Vi are just not hitting enough shots to make this competitive. Um, I would like to see Na'Vi stop being quite so passive in their holds. Um, I'd like to see them commit to the fight top mid. Like, Simple was the only one committing to that fight around brackets there. And I'd like to see Bit, Electronic, and Simple all just fight at the top of mid. Don't let them have brackets for free. Like, fight. Um, instead of, you know, being quite so... Oh, Rain, that is a dirty peak from Rain. That's so good. You see the way he jiggled that? Like, oh, that was mechanically... Mwah, that was... You can see why Rain uh, was on a tear this this major. Although Brokey's absolutely smashing the start of this inferno. Seven and zero. Oh, uh, rut row is what I'm thinking. If I'm Navi, rut row because uh, yeah, the, giving them this many rounds on T side is already a problem. Um, you know, CT meta. Any map basically seven T rounds on any map pretty much is. Uh, is an absolute botty slapper of a half. You'll you'll be fucking chuffed with that. Now, I, on a round like this, I'd like to see G Navi 4-1 or something. Just fucking gamble it, you know? Like, I, I uh, can't help but feel like Navi played a bit too standard in the first portion of this Inferno. Like when you're struggling, just just do some interesting stuff. Like don't don't just play standard and bleed out. Like try and tip the odds in your favor. Do something a little bit different. Okay, they're fighting. They're gonna fight as phase come in rather than letting phase get in. Okay, they've 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 put phase off a little bit at least. Now the question is, what does this look like? If phase go obviously quickly, then there's a huge gap up short. Uh, will they be able to find said gap up short? They're doing a double setup on Arch. This is quite potentially powerful, actually. Um, and if FaZe walk into it, which they are going to do, just unfortunate. Not much FaZe can do, but they are, yeah, going to suffer a bit here. Yeah, oh, nice shot from Bit. Now Electronic's going to come out so that Bit can't be swung. Oh, my God. What were the observers doing there? If Bit can get any more done, that would be amazing. Rob Snow's Bit's in there. Bit gets one more. Wow. Okay. This round is very, very, very doable for Na'Vi now. Four here, very close before the bomb even goes down. FaZe have to hit shots here. They have to hit at least one clean on someone coming in. If they don't get a clean kill on the CTs as they start the retake, it's going to be very, very, very hard. So Carrigan basically needs to get a clean one here. Or Brokey needs to get a clean one. Not clean, traded. Okay, that was clean. Now it's very doable. Yeah, there you go. See, you need, like, in a disadvantaged retake like that, you need one clean kill. This is often why you don't play passive on those kind of uh, retakes. The problem, uh, like, as in if you're the T's, you don't play passive. When you're disadvantaged, you want to take a fight, make it a 3v3 before, you know, the CTs get comfortable and start to encroach. Um, the problem there is FaZe had nowhere to go. They were so boxed in on the site. Um, they didn't have a fight they could take. And Na'Vi came as, as four from one kind of direction on the retake. So Na'Vi played that retake in the right kind of way. It, it just depends, you know, on the micro 
nuances of how that goes down as to which way it goes. But just... Um, I can't even remember who the fuck it was. Carrigan didn't get a clean kill. Was it Brokey got a clean one after Carrigan went down and turned it into a 2v2? That's what makes that doable. Because now it's even, you know, um, FaZe have Pika's advantage because they know where the CTs are coming from. It, it becomes a lot more doable for FaZe Clan. Uh, it looks like it's going to be another pretty early brackets take um, and probably just fast off that, not not do the whole back and forth on this round because they haven't really retained anybody towards B. They've obviously got um, uh, Electronic with a clean double. That's the round done. Yeah, this will be Na'Vi's first, which, you know, I remember it, this is Na'Vi's first. Um, I didn't remember until that happened. Now I remember this. This is Na'Vi's first round. Carrigan having a little investigate towards B, seeing if he can't get a free kill. He's been given a lot of space. Rob's getting a kill on Electronic there, but Carrigan dies. Okay, so the round was doable if Carrigan stayed alive a bit longer. Oh, broke he'll get one. And probably no more. Yeah, he's going to die to simple here. <laughs> Look at all these little jiggles. Oh, he's going to try and use this to get across the site. I love it. Good effort. I love it. Tried to get a bomb down. Not not a bad effort from Brokey. Tried to use the animation of the grenade blowing up to like obscure vision from library, for example. I don't think he thought anybody was like on, on the site. But he, he took a bit of a gamble anyway. Like he's obviously not cleared like anything there. But you've got to in those kind of situations. Just take a bit of a gamble and pray that you get it right. By the way, I don't know if I've said, but I'm on a new audio setup, so... Oh, fuck. And now I'm fucking it up. Ooh. Let me know how it sounds. I probably just made it sound horrible there by fiddling with it. I probably made it squeak and shit, but... Outside of me being a dumbass, let me know. So, three. They're leaving Boomich. I don't like when they do this. They leave Boomich, like, kind of on a fucking island and hope that he goes one for one. Like, I know he does, like, fairly often go one for one here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of when they do this. Simple playing aggressively, a bit on his own again. I don't know, some of these setups from Na'Vi, I'm a little bit, a little bit not sold on. I guess the idea with Simple there is he can take a shot and fall back. Um, but that's only if Simple does that. And this game we've already seen, he's done a lot of like quite aggressive re-peaking, trying to do too much. Like, if Simple's going to play like that, you have somebody with him so that they can actually fight and, like, be brave together. Oh, Electronic saw ahead there, didn't he? Yep. So they know one is close apps. Two are actually close apps, which is interesting. This is really interesting from FaZe, uh, this play. I don't think they know exactly what they're going for yet. Oh, God, it's getting a bit late. Okay, this one feels like FaZe don't quite know where they're going. I think they hoped this apps play would get a pick quicker. Oh. Damn. Nothing on it yet. Yeah, nah, this is going to fall apart. You could tell this one was going to fall apart a little bit because FaZe got very late on the rounds and they hadn't really made much progress. Like, yeah, you can get all the way up in apps there, but still hard to get out. And they didn't really have anyone at the top of mid. How did that miss? Eh? Game? Well, that didn't look like that missed to me. Am I blind? Am I dumb? Right, um, okay, let's just quickly take stock. Uh, Na'Vi obviously working their way back in it. As I said, FaZe were building up a massive economy, so they've been able to take losses on the chin, uh, even with no loss bonus, and they're going to reinvest back into this one. They will have to take a partial buy or a save on the next. Whoops, what have I done? There we go. Uh, but they're okay for this one. So, do you see what I mean? It's so hard for Na'Vi to reset FaZe, because by the time they drain FaZe's bank that they built up, they're already getting towards the loss bonus, so you get, like, one... It might not even be a full eco from FaZe. They can probably buy, like, a couple of pistols. Hang on. 14, 18, 24. Yeah, they can buy a few pistols on people and shit, and free pick there for ops. Yeah, just a bit, um, not being very careful. One back from Boomich on Twist, similar. Um, they'll happen, those little micro things. Um, the bit one's a bit more egregious, like he's just not being careful that Rops can be there. Admittedly, it's good play from Rops because he's not done something like that. I don't think FaZe have done anything like that all game. And the timing with which he was up there was very, very quick. Electronic finds Rain at Arch. 
well, it from Cubby, but on Arch side. And this, yeah, now, oh, wow, that's very uncharacteristic from Simple. Okay, that is super uncharacteristic. That shouldn't have been done. Three coming from the same angle, you know where they're coming from. Normally, Simple nails at least one of them. And Electronic normally would get, not Electronic, who died? Perfecto? Died for the trade? Or should have traded? Dunno. But, uh, yeah. Navi should have done better there. Yeah, this is fucked. It's fucked. Good job, face. And that is a disaster round for Navi to lose. They get another buy, but it just gets face straight back in. Um, nah, it's not that bad because Navi have a buy, and if they break here, then they actually are in a better position than they would have been. So actually, no, if they win this, it's not a disaster. If they lose this, it is a bit more egregious. So I take it back. Not a total disaster just yet. Oh, simple going for the aggressive mid peak for once. You've got to throw them in every now and then. Uh... I'm surprised they haven't sent this all B at least once. Um... The old-fashioned thing of, like, peaking top banana with the AWP or, like, setting the AWP up top banana doesn't happen so much anymore. I think teams are so good with their utility and stuff. Uh, and a lot of riflers will hit that shot on you, to be honest, if you're static at the top of banana and they know you're there. Like, they, they will hit that shot these days. So I think... Um, but I would at least have a round where your AWP is, like, on B aggressively, posturing, trying to, like, take a pick, take a fight. Okay, so this is more what I want from Na'Vi. Just be aggressive. Like, uh, they're fighting both parts of map control. Um, obviously not in apps. Uh, trying to get forced out. Simple's gonna die. That is indicative of Simple's problem throughout this game. Yeah, I don't know. Not, uh, normal Simple doesn't do that. I, I think he's just a bit flustered. I think this, this Na'Vi team is basically dead like oh bit not the cleanest spray but why are his lane players being such pussies why what why why were the guys creeping up short near a cart and stuff being so scared from phase was there a smoke in their way i didn't really see but it felt like this prong of the attack kind of sold Rain out. Like, so Rain sacked his life and his teammates didn't push. I, I didn't see. There might have been something in the way. Oh, okay, 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 Brokey. Nah. Perfect over the good peak. Got the right timing. Okay. So, uh, yeah. You know. Back and forth we go. Not the greatest buy on the Na'Vi side. They're going to have to take a few... But it doesn't matter because FaZe have finally been broken and are going to have to take a bad bumps themselves. Can they buy next? 1800? Mm, it's going to be a bit scuffed. They can. It's not going to be the best buy next. It'll be minorly scuffed. But FaZe can buy next. So we'll go 9 4 probably. I think you're already happy as FaZe at this point. But I, uh, I'd like, if you can get to 10. Mwah. It's going to be so hard to lose the game. Uh, remember, I've seen this, but I'm trying to uh, analyse it as if I haven't, you know. Well, a bit of both, I guess, a bit of both. It's not, I don't think, good to do these VOD reviews completely as if I'm blind, because I'm not. But at the same time, I don't want to, you know, go in and just rehash everything. Like, try and analyse it as if I've not seen it before. And I, I don't remember all the details of a demo like this, like... So much went on in this fucking game. Uh, uh, not going to find anything. Oh, that nade is going to hurt. Ah! My legs! Filled with shrapnel. Uh, yeah, so just uh, basically should get fuck all done. Unless Rain or Brokey uh, gets a little Juandig. Then nothing should happen here. They got top banana for free. Navi are playing super fucking passive so that they don't just get picked off by a Deeg in an advanced position and a gun is recoverable and stuff. They're playing very safe. Very safe. Simple picks up rain on a lurk and now, yeah, that's just... Oh. Oh. Oh! Twists! Damn, son! Fucking glocked him! How many times did you hit with that glock? Like, 20? Sheesh! 
that fucking pea shooter that the Glock is, man. Fuck that gun. Fuck it. Right, um, some think of a recovery from Na'Vi, obviously, in this half. Uh, let's, oh, I've paused. Let's skedaddle. Oh, my God. Stop it with the timeouts, boys. Ooh, yeah, FaZe have got a uber scuffed by. I did not. They they took a lot of liberties on weaponry in order to get um, full maids. Simple wanted to, I think. Oh, 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 fast mid. No, too many nades. Okay, they have to stop. Nah, this is so rough for FaZe now. Their fast mid pop got, like, completely countered. Now they got, like, fuck all utility. And no map control. On, oh, Rops is in apps at least. Okay, at least Rops has apps. Leave Rops here. No, no, they're going for a mid pop. Yep, they're just going to brokey toss Granata for life. He's got three flashes here, didn't he? Because he's got two and then one at his feet. And they're going to go uh, for a mid pop. Who? Carrigan, what's he doing? Did he throw a flash over towards B? Oh, yeah, he just threw. I think Carrigan threw one flash towards B to at least, like, make people think there's someone there. I think in his head that's... Oh, my God. Yep, yeah, the pop is working. The pop is working. The pop works. Simple, man. He's having such an uncharacteristically bad game. Like, obviously, I know Simple didn't play well in this final. I watched the final, but... Um, watching the demo is making me realize how uncharacteristically bad this is. And phase win. That was a really simple strat. And again, just Na'Vi don't hit anything. They just don't hit anything. They don't read what's happening at all because they're playing so passively everywhere. Yeah, I don't know. This has not been a good uh, Inferno CT side from Na'Vi. I think uh, too passive in general. Um, and just, yeah, just unchar missing uncharacteristic shots for sure. Um, and I hate when an analyzing a game comes down to that, but it, it is an important part of CSGO. It's just, can you click the heads? Sometimes, very rarely, and not as often as pros like to sometimes say, like, oh, we just didn't hit our shots. Um, not as often does the game come down to that as I think some pros would like to think. I think more often than they maybe realize they've had some structural issues on their T side, CT, whatever, but... In this instance, the big thing, I think, for Na'Vi is, um, I think two things. I think Simple has actually been a bit of a liability at A a, a, a couple of times where he's overpeaked, repeaked when he shouldn't, um, played kind of just on his own, um, and not had, you know, a simple fucking 1.7 rated game that he likes to have sometimes. Um, but also, see, this is better. See, more of this, more often, man. It, it's been so fucking few and far between from Na'Vi. They've been really scared on this ct side in general like a couple of more aggressive setups and they have mixed it up a bit like they haven't been completely just playing the sights every time but they haven't really like actually combatively gone for it like very often they've held more forward angles a couple of times that's one of the few times they actually went no no no, fuck this noise i'm not just gonna sit at sandbags flash me into banana i'm gonna run through a smoke like a motherfucker and i'm gonna just brrr, with my mp9 more of that Especially Boomich, man. Uh, Boomich plays so much better when he's doing shit like that than when he's fucking, you know, trying to be all chill. I just want to see him, you know, I just want to see him run out mid on Mirage, run up Cowwalk and start fucking mowing down people on A through Connector. That's what I want to see. Oh, see? Fuck, dude, Simple hits that. <laughs> Every other... Oh, my God, again. Every other game, Simple hits that, man, I'm telling you. I don't know. Simple missing. He's, he's top of the scoreboard with 14, and he missed a lot of shots you'd expect him to hit. Huge T-side from uh, FaZe, and you'd think that that's game over. Obviously, we know what happens, but you'd think, you know, probably should get this done in regulation if you're FaZe. Probably should. All right, let's skid it through. Okay, what are we gonna see from Navi's uh, T side? Let's just go for a bit. Okay, so they have a three B phase. Very much expecting a B player. 
Navi with the spread, pretty chiller default. Um, they're going to take some apps control, so pretty, pretty standard. Um, who is that? Rops is playing Arch, right? Yeah, he's not actually in apps. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so a bit making noise now. Um, you can manipulate CT rotations as much by like giving information as by not giving it. Really nice shot from Rain. Really, oh, Rain is being very aggressive with how. Oh, Rops, that's a bit poopy. Brokey maybe should have got one too. Rain is going to push down Banana now. Absolutely rip Simple's brain out. So, still durable, this. Uh, bomb's not gone down. Phase are very close. Still a very, I would say, pretty even rounds. Mm, rain, stop it. Stop doing horrible things to people. Uh. Yeah, this is, this is now... I was about to say this is now fucked. Not if, buddy, they hit shots like that. Oh, my God, Rain. Oh, my God, Rain. Uh, that was a dirty round. I remember that one, but, you know, got to, like, live that one as if it was fresh. Oh, what a pistol round from Rain. That shot he hit on Simple, that is dirty. Simple has right eye advantage on that peak, by the way. I, that was crazy. It looked like Rain had the right eye advantage. That was nuts, that shot. That's just game sense as well. He's basically pre fired that. That's just that's just game sense knowing somebody's gonna be holding from there. And now you're like this game's done. It's over. You know, just call it. Just call it call it time. Let's speak oh what am I doing? Oh Christ. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. There we go. Let's just speed through uh this and we'll get into the gun rounds because um You know, it's inferno. We're gonna get a lot of faffing. Just wait and see if Navi will present ahead for a deagle. And they're not, and then yeah, eventually they all die. Again, not too much special about that one. Just, you know, Navi waiting to see if FaZe walk into a Deagle headshot. FaZe just chilling, and when all the utility's gone, they run out and they MP9 everyone to death. Okay. Navi have the guns up. It's scuffed. It's so scuffed. The buy, uh, three Galeels and a Mac Daddy, one AK, and the they take top banana very quick and aggressively. Oh, are they gonna go fast as fuck, boy? It looked like they were kind of thinking about going fast as fuck, didn't it? But Navi also, uh, Faze, sorry, seem to feel the same. Or oh, they've thrown retake grenades, but I don't think they're actually gonna necessarily go for it. No, they didn't. They threw retake grenades and then didn't actually go for the retake. So the, the grenades phase throughout then, that molly and that smoke that lands like kind of around here, like uh, where simple is, the smoke cuts off the rest of banana and it's to partition off banana and potentially retake it. Kind of similar to the way they took it um, on the T side. It's like a reverse version. Ooh, dink, but carrying there with the Empers. Just stay alive now. Don't don't die. Mm, gets caught in the open. Yeah, not much you could do because of the way the molly landed. Uh, ideally, Carrigan would have just lived a bit longer, and that's probably the retake scuffed. No, it's it's doable again now. If I'm bit, I probably fall back there. Mm, can he? Yeah, he could have. I think from where Rops was. It's still hard. Now the retake is kind of scuffed. They're still so low. So Navi pull it out of the bag, it looks like, with a pretty scoofed buy. Just a nice hit with some good trades. I wonder if it was a smarter phase to throw the retake nades and then not actually go for the retake. Um, because that is it just kind of wasted utility then? I don't know. Uh, maybe the idea is to slow Navi down. It didn't really slow them down that much or didn't seem to do much meaningful. Because that was a bonus round from FaZe, um, they get the chance to rebuy and the Navi buy is still scuffed because they lost everyone. 
Um, yeah, look how scuffed it is. Like, no nades on simple. Tet 9s and... Uh, sorry, Mac 10s and Galil's again. Boomich already dead, basically. Yeah. Oh, Boomich, though. Rain was not expecting Boomich to be able to be ahead of that. So, good timing found by Boomich to rescue what was basically a lost round if he didn't get that kill. Like, it's going to be so hard to win the round for Navi. They, like, already sacked a lot of their utility to get that banana control. Um, and they wouldn't have got it. And they would have been a man down. This way they get it. And it's one for one, which favours the T's. Um, right, it looks like they're going to take a bit of a peek around brackets, Navi, at least. Oh, no. Okay. Are they, are they, are they scoured? Are they scoured? They don't have a lot of utility, so it's going to need some entries. They got mollies to flush people out. Oh, I love this spot from Rob's. It's a dirty little spot. You have to really come out of apps to be able to see him. Okay, so one molly used and didn't get net. End. Okay, now no mollies left. Now this is really hard for Navi. That kill is so important, though. N uh, okay, now Rops. Okay, really, really nice. Nice little nade as well. 3v3, Rops is going to be a pain in Navi's side. Retake is doable. Kit on Rops. He's the other side of where his mates are, though, so it'll be hard to recover the kit if he dies, necessarily. Right, let's see what we get. Here. Simple's in a good spot. Bit is in a good spot to refrag. Yeah, that's probably the retake done. I might even be calling a save. If I'm... Oh, they're still going to go for it. Nah. Yeah, it's just too late. I would have called the save, I think. I think I would have called the save. It's just so hard to get into that 3v2. It's, it's doable. It's not like it's impossible. And maybe FaZe said, hey, look, like, we'll take more guns away. The Na'Vi buy, they're still going to basically have to go for another scuffed buy. Mm. 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 I just don't think you earn enough for this round for that to be worth it. Yeah. And again, it's a bit scuffed from Na'Vi, but because FaZe are forced onto a save, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't agree with that from FaZe. Go for that retake. I think that's the wrong call. I can see why they made it, potentially, but... Oh! Rops has a taser. Now that... Now that... That's some real excitement in this game. Um, We'll speed through, because not much should be happening here. Oh, Rain gets an open kill, actually. Suddenly it becomes a little bit saucy. Mm. Mm. Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, okay. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. It, it looked for a millisecond like it would be scuffed. If not, if FaZe could have gotten away with the advantage, even one man advantage, then it looks interesting. Where is Rops going? He's going unbanan. He, he, uh, I've just remembered that this, uh, what happens with this Zeus. What do we reckon, guys? Yay or nay? Zap or no zap? A bzz he zaps him. He zaps him right in the dick. That gets the king dumps. Seal of approval. So. Na'Vi right back in this now. Slightly scuffed by from FaZe. But not uh, a complete disaster. Pretty not ideal to be fair. So I'd say this is a Na'Vi favoured rounds. Na'Vi have everything they want. They've got the momentum. And FaZe are not the best on utility. Really lacking mollies. At least they have smokes, which are very important on Inferno. And if they can get to a, like a minute with a lot of those smokes in hand, then I think we're, we're okay. Where'd the other smoke go down? Banana. Okay, so now they've only got one smoke on Banana. But Na'Vi aren't really can fighting for it too much like competing for it too much okay so now that the clock's going down and face still have their smokes it's not the end of the world oh boomage that's so important oh man that's rough for carrigan he was gonna throw that smoke as well so now that smoke's on the ground and i don't know i think they can retrieve it yeah they can they can it's okay okay so it's not the end of the world for faceland it's rough but it's not the end of the world 
So this round is still somewhat doable, but it, it, they need to now gamble the B player. Yeah, there you go. Brokey's now going to rotate back. You need to just leave someone solo on the small site in situations like this. In general, this is how Counter-Strike, you can kind of look at it. Oh, nice lane. Nice from Twist. Nice from Twist. So nearly had the third as well. Brokey, oh, slips into that position. Yeah, this is such a good round. Oh, phase, man. Come on, this is such a good round. No, 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 no. Rain, don't rotate. Rain, stop, 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 stop. They might run back. Oh, no. Okay, they just gamble it and they get it right. Fair play. And that's round. Fucking a nice round. Twist, man. Saves the day there. 100%. Oh, Brokey's going to let him get the bomb down. Oh, is he going to win this? Oh, my God. That was such a back and forth round, man. All came down to the minutia, that one. All came down to the minutia. Both teams bit with a huge clutch at the end. Really nice. Really smart way that Na'Vi rerouted after the hit kind of stopped. Really, really nice play from Twists. Really nice from Brokey as well to like slip into Cubby and get that extra kill. Great call from FaZe to gamble that Na'Vi would hit the A site and not split one and one, which is what I was calling for. Yeah, nice. Uh, just good round from both teams and Na'Vi come out on top by the sliver. I ain't Brokey, but disappointed he lost that one. He had the HP advantage. Probably could have swung wider. I don't know if he knowed it. it knowed? <laughs> I don't know if he knew. It probably was unconfirmed damage. Yeah, and then... Oh, it's an eco. Fucking sack it. Sorry, I keep pressing my pause instead of my speedy boy key. Yeah, we'll just... Skidder do through all of this shit. They should have eco. Yeah, they can upgrade some armor and, and go for this one. They can get a, a decent buy here. Will Rops keep the MP9? Will they drop the MP9? Um, so yeah, Navi are absolutely back into this. Um, again, it's really nice trading actually for both sides on the T side, which has been very uh, influential. But Navi are hitting a lot more shots now. Um, you know, they weren't hitting anything at the start of that game, but they feel warmed up into things. They throw that smoke a lot. Both teams have thrown that smoke a lot. That little denial of the molly, um, where you bounce it off the wall, and it denies the molly. Oh, another good molly denial. A lot of damage on Boomy. I'd say FaZe went out. They have more utility left, and they got more damage off. FaZe went out that early exchange, I think, of util. On a banana. Okay. What are we looking at? What are we looking at? What are we going to see? Oh, some apps control. Okay, okay, okay. Setting bit up with decent apps control. This is going to be a mid to A play. Like, they've they've got fuck all going on in banana. Um, Dry walkout, maybe? Are they just going to... Oh, they're stacking up for an apps pop here, for sure. Rops has a lot on his plate. Oh, and he hears it as well. Nah, dumb blind shit. Still should be able to hold this phase. Yeah. Yeah. Just once the prong of that attack goes down and you take so much damage and there's already two in the site anyway. Yeah, that's... Uh... Oh, fuck. For a second, I thought Perfecto had, like, won it there. He died in his own molly. Legend. Um, yeah, just so hard that hit. Once, once the apps pop part of it gets slowed down and you don't have, like, another prong to your attack, really, it, it, it's just super rough. Super rough. I think somebody should have been on the wraparound uh, long slash arch, right? Uh, I didn't actually see. I was too busy focused on what was going on on apps and short, but... Mm. Bit of a disaster. Okay, so now FaZe are back in the driving seat here. Um, still goodbye for, for Na'Vi, so no stresses. Goodbye for FaZe, no stresses. Not much in the bank for either team, so this is a very important round because... More important for Na'Vi, really, um, than it is for FaZe, obviously. Just because of... Ooh. Oh, a bit of mid... Okay, no, they got scared. <laughs> One flashbang was enough to make him be like... That was a good round to call it on as well. Little did they know, they actually had a, a lot of space to work with there. There was a big boy gap. Retake util. Good shot. Mm, too much, too much, too much. Too much, too much. I know the molly goes down, but they can smoke that and get him back, can't they? 
yeah, Carrigan had a smoke for sure. So they, they could have smoked Rain out there. They do have Rops down second mid. Electronics is holding. Electronics? Electronics is holding for this day. Must have seen him. They must have seen him. Because I don't think Electronics is holding for that unless they see Rops there. So I think FaZe gets super fucking unlucky on a timing there. Two, two key moments in that round. Rain going for that extra. I probably would have fallen back. Uh, and then Rops getting really unlucky on the timing. Ah, so unlucky for Twists, man. He makes the right call trying to just spray down the two on the side, knowing he's going to die to the guy who just swung out apps. But, ah, it, oh, that's so harsh. Ah, man, FaZe. Oh, that's, that's, that one's feeling rough. Like, they did a lot right in that round and got very unlucky on a couple of... Unlucky that Twist spray isn't a little bit better and a little bit cleaner. Probably gets two, 2v2 retake, lots of damage. They go for it. Really unlucky on the Rops timing, and ah, on another day, Rain probably gets the second kill, even on that reface in Banana. A lot of small details there, but I would say the one thing FaZe could have done better was probably have Rain fall back. And then a two, a two unlucky moments, one with Rops, one with Twist. Rightio then, what's cracking? What's going on? What are we looking at? Um, a buy from FaZe. A little bit scuffed. Uh, lacking some utility, which, like I say, a bit rough. Especially on this map. Na'Vi with a perfectly good buy. Still not huge amounts in the bank. A little bit on electronic. Woo. Woo. This is a marathon, baby. Not a sprint. Uh, top banana early. Brokey sees that, so falls back. Sorry, I'm just going through this one a bit because we're getting some long rounds now because the T's are really milking the clock down. Um, <laughs> CIST sides. Am I right? <laughs> right. Uh, what is the crack? That's a CT smoke, right? They're mm, uh, not going to aggress forward on it. Which makes it a bit useless because Na'Vi are ahead of it. Harrigan gets uh, read like a book there, yeah. Not sure I'm a big fan of that from Carrigan, to be honest. He needs his teammates on this side to be fighting with him if they're going to go for it. I wonder if he called for it and then, you know, didn't realise that the help was not forthcoming. Bit grim in cricket. Now nah, this round should be over. They've stayed two on B. I would have gambled earlier than this, probably. I think I'm I'm almost into gambling on that one. Yeah, and the round is over. See, if you gamble the other way, right? If they come to B, fuck it, one dies, you save three guns. If they go to A, you have a really good chance of, of getting a lot more damage done. I don't know. To me, the calculation there seems obvious that you immediately gamble one off of B. The second you lose Carrigan on A, one of my B players is sprinting, if that's my team. Um, hindsight's twenty twenty and all that, you know, because they obviously ended up hitting the A site, but... I don't know, even if they don't hit the A site, it seems to me the expected value is higher if you just cheat someone immediately. Correct me if I'm wrong, Boomish having a fucking stinker, man. He's had no impact in terms of frags at all. He, he, he had that one round on Banana where he pushed down and like got the double kill with the MP9 and won the round solo, but apart from that, his Boomich is having a really rough time. I think he, he got one entry at the top of Banana on T side as well, so... But yeah, in general, really lacking for any um, impact from Boomich and just frags in general, obviously. They're going for the aggressive fight. They want it. They, they want this aggressive fight. I think uh, FaZe are probably not going to fall back on this. They are going to fall back on it now. Yeah, decided to get out of dodge. They kind of run out of utility. They've drained a lot of the T's utility, but they have smooks. Again, this seems to be uh, part of the phase uh, game plan against Na'Vi. It was similar in EPL, was to try and drain the utility early. Na'Vi doing well to hold on to smokes, but uh, yeah, they've got one flashbang and one molly. <laughs> and Na'Vi and FaZe still have like a solid amount of utility. It's not on this site, though. Oh, no, they have a smoke and a flash on this site. Uh, the Rops utility belt is over towards A, though. So they still do have some utility. They put smoke down like now. Rain should be putting a smoke down very soon. Yeah, there you go. Wait, where did Rain's smoke go? 
Oh, I can only assume Reigns is the this one. Wait, there is no smoke there. I don't know where the fuck rain smoke went. Oh, he put it in front of himself there, did he? Hmm, it's worked. I would have tried to put it in banana, but I guess Navi probably would have just run straight past it once he threw it, so. Oh, perfecto. That's huge from perfecto. That is jai fucking enormous. This is hard now. This is really hard. Decent crossfire. It's all on perfecto here because Bit's so fucking low. Bit is going to go for a bit of a play, though. Oh, that's really rough from Rop, so that smoke is bad because Bit can be a bit braver around it than he maybe otherwise would have been. Huge from Perfecto. No, with no rifle. If Brokey has a rifle, that's on. But because he's got an AWP, that's just... Uh, well, I mean, it is a rifle. It's a sniper rifle, but you know what I mean. Jeez, Na'Vi getting a few of these rounds by the skin of their teeth, relying a lot on trading. Perfecto has had a big game. Um, raw frags, but also a lot of impact. Um, he basically wins that round solo. Bit's just a, a bot that's baiting for him, basically. Uh, that's no uh, criticism of Bit. I mean, just in that round with 10 HP, like, it, you know, doesn't matter what Bit does. He's basically just there to bait. Oh, nice one, Brokey. Oh, not so nice rain. How did that happen? Oh, rain tried to kind of peek off it. Uh, or was he just playing close to Arful? Well, this is a gamble rotation. Got it right, though. Okay, 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 okay. This is more often on than not what I like to see on Inferno is just gamble. I think Inferno is one of the strongest maps for these type of uh, stacks and plays. Yeah, this is a really, really nice... Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. That looked like a really nice round for FaZe. But, again, the trading is just too good. Shit, man. They had three there as well. Fuck. It's all on Carrigan, baby. Oh, is Car can Carrigan do this? He knows what one is. Is that that one will re-peak eventually. There you go. Yeah. Oh, double peak. Nothing he can do. Yeah. He didn't know where the other was, didn't realise they were both playing the same position, but also, that guy is always going to swing eventually. You probably have, like, a brief window of a couple of seconds where he doesn't immediately re-peak once he's gotten in that position, but eventually he's always going to take a little look, and he... Right, this is a partial. We're just going to do through most of this, unless it looks like it's going to get interesting. There, nope, not after rain dies and banana, it's not going to get interesting. And they can't decide to stack... Mm, no, and then this rotation is coming too late from Brokey. Oh, Carrigan gets two though. Okay, okay, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on. Who's six? Get your fucking ass moving. Rob, stop being a little slow, creepy, crawly bastard. I know you're a little lurky boy, but come on. Uh, is anyone really going to be that far away from the bombsite, Rob, in a 3v3? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Navi taking a while to get this bomb down. Yeah, Ro okay, this is fine from Rops to wait at the bottom of Banana because there's a good chance the fact that Faves haven't planted that they're waiting for these pushes, so. Perfecto. Is this position really going to be that strong? A key frag for bit. Rops nearly got it as well. Yeah. If Rops gets that kill on Banana, it's doable. Otherwise, no. Okay, so uh, we're going to end the game, maybe, uh, on pretty much a full buy for both teams. Uh, phase a, like a very, very tad short on utility, but not really enough to really even write home about. Brokey's aggressive. Sim will get naded. Completely sacked off banana. Or oh, FaZe are going to find out the banana's empty. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, are they going to take it? Are they going to rotate? What are they going to do with this info? Okay, so they take it and then fall back. Are they going to force Na'Vi to invest more utility to take it or go to the other side of the map? Na'Vi decides to go to the other side. The rotation is already coming in from Carrigan via Arch or Library? Arch. Yeah, this is a rough round for Na'Vi. FaZe are all here. A lot of the utility has gone. Two flashbangs at least, so they've at least got something to be able to pop through. But FaZe have a very, very strong setup to deal with this. Very strong. And Rain being quite advanced on Banana means they can be very confident this is coming to A. 
Oh, twist dying's not great though. Oh, Navi kind of stalling out here though. No, yeah, this is really stalling. Oh, Perfecto finds Brokey. Uh, still alive in pit. Carrigan with one. Carrigan with two humongous frags. Okay. Yeah, the lack of... Oh, Carrigan. Mmm, Carrigan. Mmm, that was impact out the wazoo. That is fucking huge from Carrigan there, boy. That round is, is, is on a knife's edge, and Carrigan just says, No! My round. Big, big, big boy plays. Big, big, big boy plays. Okay, so Navi with the last timeout. Good time to take it. No pun intended. Let's see what the adjustment is. And Navi going to call a pocket strat. Was it just to take a moment? Or oh, Carrigan. This is brave. This is brave as fuck. Rain with a free kill down banana. Carrigan finds one through the smoke. Yeah, that's round done. Even if Bit gets that kill, round is probably over. Yeah, this is super fucking tough for Navi. Now they have no map control anywhere. It's going to be a minute before they have any... A minute left on the clock, I mean, before they have any meaningful map control. Phase don't have huge amounts of utility, but they've all got kits. There's a bit of utility on Na'Vi. It's not like totally lost, but just the, the lack of any positioning on the map that Na'Vi have. Like, Bit is scared to even fucking move. He's going to think about moving soon. I suspect one of these B players will move soon. No, you're not. Are we, are we going to really two and two it? Nah, nah, they're going to push down Banana, which is why they're staying there. Okay, that's fine then. The plan was always to push down Banana. Yep, and this falls apart. Twist is going to get one. Ooh. 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 Okay, Rops commits rather than running around where he doesn't know shit's going on. Phase or phase even. Simple almost got his gun out there. Oh, that was stressful. That was stressful. Okay. OT. As we knew was coming. Oh. Let's. I'm skedaddling. Okay. Okay. Um. Just to summarize, both teams had a better time on their T half than their CT half, which is strange in the current meta. Um, Inferno is one of the more slightly more balanced maps, so it's not like an Ancient or a Nuke where you would expect to win the CT half pretty huge each time. So I think um, it, always coming into this overtime, a lot was going to be said for whoever could pick up more CT rounds. Um, FaZe almost have the advantage, I think, starting CT on this OT because then they know what they need to aim for on their T half, which is their better half. So they know how aggressive, how many liberties they need to take. This is, uh... See, FaZe... I think FaZe being more combative, I think this is the right thing. Like, this is how the game went. Oh my god, they're on the opposite sides of these smokes. Who's gonna win on the fade? Carrigan wins on the fade. I think Carrigan was more certain that Perfecto was there than Perfecto was certain that Carrigan was there, if that makes sense. Navi, no map control, a minute. The most map control is they have is Bit sitting here, and it's not very meaningful. Twist is now rotating to help Rain. Uh, yeah, this is likely to be a phase round, I'd suggest. They got much utility. No, okay, that is that is a bit rough. Holding B without utility can be a bit rough. Unless the T's have no utility, but the T's do have utility, so... I would still slightly give FaZe the edge. I like the setup here. This is a little bait and switch. Rain's position is very hard to clear. Yep, guaranteed one, and he gets to fall off. Yeah, sick, sick setup from FaZe. Really nice. Played the setup very well as well. Twist swung at the right time because Rain kept battling. Uh, and they're both coming from the same here, FaZe. Yeah, it's just, it's just you go together, you trade together. Yep, 
Swing straight after. Really well played, phase there. Really fucking nice. The setup from Twists and Rain was nice, and they played it correctly. And then Brokey and Rops, just perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect play. Top notch work from FaZe Clan there. Really, really, really nice. Great way to kick off uh, overtime as well. Gives you a lot of confidence, I think. Because that was a very, very nicely played round. Okay, let's see what we're going to get out of Nawi. Come on, boys. Right, what is the crackalacker ding dong? Uh, very, very, very fast up banana. We're expecting retake grenades and like nades and shit to come in. Faye's holding on to a lot there, you see, actually. A slightly different approach. Haven't don't think we saw too much of that on banana. I think they were quite happy to unload their utility. So the fact they're holding on to it now, interesting switch up. Still got two smokes and a molly. They trade the flashbang. Playing at the back side, they're gonna set him up on the boost, right? Ooh, brokey. Come big in. But it was ready for that. He was pretty far in that. Rops with the timing. That's sick. Fuck yeah, Rops. Fuck yeah, mate. Ooh, twists. Okay. Probably didn't need to do that. Okay, it's fine. Brokey trades it. Not the end of the world, because Brokey went with him. Bit brave to fight that. Oh my god, Rops gets his fucking head ripped off. Christ, simple. Simple's mad. Yeah, Brokey with a free kill electronic. Just a the timing there. Not much electronic can do. And now this is a hard round. Oh shit, FaZe made the wrong call though. Kerrigan's going the wrong way. They think it's going to be an A finish. But they got Rain in a pretty powerful spot. He almost certainly goes one for one here. And then it's a 2v1 retake again. And I think FaZe are fine with that. I think FaZe have, have enough confidence in their retakes, particularly in advantage situations. Na'Vi are getting to crawl and clear, though. Yeah, that's the thing. Simple was getting to crawl and clear under no pressure. And so there was a chance for him to get that kill free. Carrigan needs to go big here. I, I knew he did. I remembered this round. <laughs> but yeah, Carrigan's impact, man. He has... Bailed them out of two vital, vital, vital rounds. This means they win this half of OT. They go into the next half of OT knowing that they have a chance. Or that they're in the driver's seat, basically. Uh, I can't underestimate how important the two rounds from Carrigan has been. The one that basically got them to OT. Uh, second to last round where he gets the kills from library. And then this one here. Like, so fucking important, guys. Can't... Guys and girls. Uh, ooh, brokey nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Again, more aggressive on Unbanan. Oh, my God. Carrigan, no! Where are you going, Carrigan? You fucking maniac! Yeah, 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 yeah. That was... Oh, oh, that was a little bit... A little bit bold, that one. You were making a lot of noise. Um... But the more combative banana approach has, in general, been better for FaZe. And I think was, in general, better for both sides. Uh, I think the just the way this game went. Oh, look at all them fucking grenades. Damn, son! Rain's got grenades coming out of his... Not really. Okay. Oh. 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 Lots of damage. Not much else. I don't know, man. I don't. Uh, I don't like the fact Faze just gave up the site. Like this retake is never gonna fucking work. So why not just fight for the site and lose it? Like, or try and take as many as you can and lose it. I don't know. It, I just. I don't like this approach. This I think is wrong. I don't think they should go. They played to play retake on B there, and it, like, like, look, it's a disaster. Like, they can't, they can't fucking get in without walking into a crossfire. Yeah. Yeah, nah. Nah. Not okay. After two really nicely played CT rounds, I don't think that was played very well from Phase. Uh, I don't think playing retake on B there was the right call. Um, in a disadvantage situation. If you trade nothing on the way into the site, you're still just in a disadvantage situation. Wait, what coins do they all are they all showing? Can I see that? Is it uh, a bronze <laughs> coin? Obviously, he's got that now because uh... whoa, spoilers! Whoa, 
Sorry, punching my microphone a bit. Uh, it's making me mad. Grr. Okay. Okay. What is the vibe? Uh, the vibe is, I think if Na'Vi go too passive on their hold, it's fucked. 3B early, pretty standard on Inferno. Not uncommon to go for a 3B early setup. Are we going to see anything aggressive from Simple? Yeah, it's a little bit, little bit, little smidgen aggressive. He's going to walk into Brokey's crosshair. Yeah, he knows he can't take that angle that late, so it's all good. Nice and aggressive from Boomich. I like. He's on his own a little bit, which I'm not quite so much of a fan of. I think this is a bit of an old-fashioned way to play Banana. I'm not sure in the 5v5 it's always the best to leave somebody on their own in non. And they don't for very long. Yeah, okay, so Perfecto is sort of there to help babysit him a little bit. Now, this is a setup I do like. Because now, yeah, exactly. Once you hear the info, then your rotator is very, very quick. This doesn't know if they could have wrapped Arch. And they're not. What is going on with the... Uh... Hang on. What happens? What's happened to the caster camera control? There we go. Missed the whole of that A hit. Beckin game broke. I assume that wasn't the observing. I assume something went wrong. Oh, nice! What a shot from Boomish though on the retake. Yeah, it's fucked anyway. Good night, sweet prince. And now Phase Clan are on match point. Um. Didn't honestly get to see what happened because I was so bamboozled by the camera being stuck on Perfecto. So now what the fuck is going on? Yeah, something went. F yes, okay, so something went wrong. You see, you can see with the observer joining. It looks like there was some fuckery with the uh, observing there. I don't remember that happening during the game, like watching on the stream. Decent aid. A lot of emphasis on banana control. And a weird setup on A, leaving a big old gap at Arch. Guess they can't get up brackets without Navi knowing, so they'll know if Arch is compromised and if the CT wrap to B is compromised. Nah, I think again this is too passive from Navi. Oh, they're gamble rotating. Ah, oh, nah, this this is seems desperate to me. Nope. Okay, he was just going to get a grenade. Okay. Still, man, I don't like how passive Navi is. Like, uh, they have no meaningful info, and they haven't made Phase work very hard for this top banana control. Phase have so much utility. For an execute, I think this is rough, man. Even when that smoke goes, Faze still have so much utility for an execute. Na'Vi do have decent amount of utility to hold it off. It's mostly flashbangs, man, which are, you know, hit and miss. Boomich still has a smoke. Even if he puts it down, I think not. Uh, yeah, Faze just go here, even if he puts it down. Good flash. Oh, really nice hold, actually. Really fucking nice. Okay, so yeah, the utility. Ooh, rain. Excellent. Okay, so then the utility from Na'Vi actually was good enough. I didn't think it would be. They got their frags. This is huge from Rops. If he can kill Bit here. Uh, fuck, yeah, it's over. I mean, I know it's over, but it's over. Like, shit, Na'Vi over-rotated. Uh, got completely caught out there. This is why over-rotating on Inferno is so rough. Um, and why Inferno can be so great for, like, teams that manipulate rotation as well. Because you saw there, like, how quick is it for FaZe to turn what was meant to be a B hit into eventually an A hit with Rops lurking through middle. A uh, great mid-rounding and lurk from Rops. Um, it, as a lurker, you can do that where you spend most of the rounds having zero fucking impact. And then the most important frag of the whole damn round comes down to you. And yeah, this is... Uh, oh, shit. Broken in 1v2, though. Excellent, man. Excellent play. Um, and that is it, boys, girls, and otherwise. Um, this is the scoreboard. Just have a look there. Broken with a 30. And then there you go. So as you can see, actually, ADR-wise, a decent contribution. Even Boomich recovered towards the end of the game. He was having a really fucking poor start to the game, but he recovered a bit towards the end. Um, look at the effective flashes, man. The amount of those <laughs> rocks. <laughs> Tell me you're a lurker. 
and a star player without telling me. He's not, he's not fucking getting you today out. He's like, I got any my gun out. I gotta fucking shoot people in the head. Hey. Yeah, so um what to say about that map? Really close actually. Um a lot of it comes down to Navi going 0 and 8 to start the map off. Obviously, it's not a great way to start a map, but the fact that if you take those eight rounds out of the way, Navi win the map pretty comfortably. Um, I think shows you how important that opening streak was. They just were not fragging at all on their CT half in general. Um, phase, I think their game plan from the previous time they played Navi actually worked in their favor here because I think Navi played a little bit scared at the start of that CT half, and I think that was part of the reason they were struggling so much. Um, some uncharacteristic mistakes from Simple, for sure. Shots you'd think he would hit, some refaces and re-aggression that was just probably too much. But I think the biggest thing is I think Na'Vi just overall were a little bit too passive on their CT holds. Um, and they made up for it because their T-halves were so good. Their T-halves were generally really slick, very good trading. Um, Perfecto had to bail them out a few times. This was a game on the margins. This isn't a game where I think you can say this is the problem that lost or, or this is the thing that won a team a game. All of these things interacted to create a very, very close map. And in the end, I think FaZe squeaked it over the line. Why do I think FaZe managed to squeak it over the line? Obviously, in OT, it was very, very important to get those two CT rounds in the first half of OT. I think that was very, very important. And it was mentally, I think, very important. I think mental edge is probably a lot of what this game was about. I think FaZe had a slight mental edge over Na'Vi. I think Na'Vi were a little bit too scared on their CT half at times. I think they were much more confident on their T half, and it showed because, you know, they didn't have the disaster to start um, the T half. I think that is probably what I'd put this game down to mostly, is I think the mental edge FaZe carried from beating Na'Vi the previous time. This Na'Vi team is probably dead and probably knew that they were dead coming into this tournament. Um, performed really well regardless, but obviously... Couldn't quite get it done at the end here. Let me know if you enjoyed that one, boys and girls. Let me know what you thought of the audio setup as well. Like I say, I used a different setup for audio this time around. Hopefully, it should be less echo from the room. Um, I don't think the sound quality overall will be that much better. Um, but let me know. You know, opinions, thoughts, feelings. I want to hear all of it. Uh, and if you did not like this, you're probably a Navi fan. And all I can say is commiserations. Unlock hope.